What's going on, everybody? This is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you as seen on TV, product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. And if you like what you're seeing in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now, today I've got the Air World, which is a personal heating and cooling device, but doesn't really work as advertised. Let's find out in today's review. Got some instructions, we got some stickers. Taking a look at the features a little bit more closely here. Power button, there's goes to high, low, and off. Nice metal uh, casing here. This is the air intake. The original version, I believe, had one in the center. This is the newer ones, has two on the sides. Oh, the batteries go in here. You got three double A's. There's a charge, this is not a charging port. It's not a rechargeable unit and it doesn't recharge batteries. This is just if you want to run directly to USB power. Got the nozzle and the hose. And that's where you're going to put either ice or the warming packets. I'll talk about the warming packets a little bit later. I'm looking at these instructions here and they say to use two cups of ice. It would probably be easier if they just had a fill line in there instead of having you measure it out yourself. I've got two cups of ice right here. Let's go out to the car where it's nice and warm. Try this out. This thermometer is showing 110 inside this car right now. Only 100, only 102 outside. And I don't have the air on or anything. It's dead air in here. I'm dying. I gotta turn this on. I'm, I'm about to croak in here. So far, it's feeling, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's all right. I'm gonna put the jet nozzle on there that directs the, uh, the air a little better. Yeah, that definitely seems to have a little bit more power. It's, it's cool-ish. Well, now it's 111 in here. It's still rising, man. We're still baking in this boy here. I don't know if maybe this is just too hot for it. It's a, it's a good foot away from me and I can, I can feel it. It's not as cold as I expected it to be. If I put it this close to my face, it feels cold. I almost feel like the jet nozzle is making the stream too narrow. Let me take it back off. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, the, uh, put this thing on here. Oh, I kind of like this. This is kind of nice. Shape that however you want. I feel like I'm doing a breathalyzer or something. I'm gonna angle this right in my face. It's certainly working. I guess I wanted it to be a little bit more powerful than this. And these are brand new batteries, by the way. Just took them out of the package. Three AA Duracells. It's on high. The air is cool. I don't know if I wanted, if I was expecting it to be stronger or if I was expecting it to be cooler, but I just feel like I want a little bit more than this. Is this, is this microphone on? Testing, one, two, three. Now, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back inside and I'm gonna let this run in front of a, a thermometer and let it run for a while because uh, it takes a thermometer some time to adjust and see what the air temperature blowing out of here is because i was going to use my laser but i think i'm going to be that would be more of the temperature of the hose and not the air itself so i'm going to get a thermometer and check the air temperature but i don't know if this is an unfair test being in a car that is hot but right now it seems like it's uh it's pretty good i'm not going to say it's a bad it's a bad product i'm just saying that Maybe, maybe there's a limit to how much you can expect when it's 110 degrees in a stifling hot car. I, am, I just feel like the stream is not wide enough. I feel like I, I want a wider stream to cover my, to hit my entire face. I don't feel like my entire face is getting blasted with cold air. I feel like you know, this much of my face at a time is getting blasted with cold air. But I'm gonna go inside and, and do a couple more things to see if I can get to the bottom of this. All right, I'm just adjusting this thermometer here right in front of the Airstream. I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and see how cool it gets. Now the inside the house here at 77 degrees, so it should definitely get that low on the thermometer. But let's see how much below 77 degrees. This is blowing right on the temperature sensors. So you can see it's right on the back of it there. And also check the battery life because this has been going for about 10 minutes total. I'm gonna also see how long the batteries last. I'm gonna let this deplete itself. Two tests in one and let's see how it does. Temperature and batteries, that's next. The back of the thermometer is 64 degrees, so that's a probably, it's probably a little bit cooler, 62 degrees. So the air is cool if you wanna go by the back of the, uh, the unit there. It has been going for about an hour now. It seems like it's stabilized at 65 degrees. I took the hose off and ran it directly from the unit itself to the thermometer, so there's nothing that can interfere with the uh, accuracy of the temperature, so I think 65 is pretty accurate now. And by the way, it shuts off after 20 minutes, so I've had to stand here and kind of monitor it. So every 20 minutes, I have to turn it back on. I also had to replace the ice at about the 45 minute mark, but I'm gonna keep watching and see how long the batteries last. But for right now, I'd say the air is about 65 degrees. 
because that has not changed for about half an hour. We're at about an hour and 45 minutes. This is the second batch of ice, and notice that it's getting warmer in there. So there you go. Ice is mostly melted, and the temperature is now it's up to 71 degrees. So once the ice starts to melt, it starts to warm up. All right, I've just put some fresh ice in here now. I got to continue the battery test. We're at an hour and 45 minutes. We're going to keep going. How long will it go, and how cool will it get? Right now, it seems like 65 degrees seems to be as cold as I've seen it. So it's been a little over five hours now. I was under the impression that it was just going to kind of stop, but what it's doing is getting weaker and weaker. So I would say four to five hours of solid battery life before it starts uh, getting so weak that you need to replace them. You may have seen the Air World being advertised on social media like Facebook and Instagram. And if you bought from one of those ads, you almost certainly bought a fake. That's right, because there's only two places to buy the Air World, the official one. That's from their website, airworld.com, and from their Amazon store. So if you paid 40 or 50 bucks, that's a counterfeit. That's not the real thing. I was first told about the Air World on Instagram by Dick and Pacheco, who follows my page there. And he asked if I wanted to review it. I wasn't sure at the time. So he ordered one, not realizing he ordered one of the fakes. So I asked him to send me some photos of his so I could compare to the one that I bought because I bought directly from the website for $159 with my own money. Yes, I, I paid for it. And so what I'm going to do next is show you some of the comparisons of his photos versus mine to show you what the difference is. Now, I've also communicated with the people on Airworld and they said they're getting people that are complaining about those fakes, not realizing they're fakes. They're wanting their money back. They're saying they don't work. Well, if you buy a cheap counterfeit online, they're not going to support that because that's not their product. So you, there's only two places to buy it. And if you're not paying about $159 from one of those places, you're probably getting a junky, cheap counterfeit. That's right. So don't buy from those. All right, as you can see on the left is the fake air whirl. Uh, they do have blue color real air whirls, but that is the color of the fake one. Not much of a difference from that angle. Maybe the button is a little bit different. On the side, it's not too much of a difference in this picture. Uh, the only difference here, it looks like, is that the air nozzle is in the center, but that looks like more of the original Air World, the first version that came out, that they've since changed. It looks like the fakes are still copying the original Air World. Once again, the original had a single intake in the center, which has been since updated to two intakes on the sides. C considerable difference there. And look at the top, there's no charging port on the fake one. There's also that tab on the top that's missing as well. What I'm mainly hearing is that the materials are cheap and people are complaining about these units breaking quickly because they're not made very well and the vendors selling them don't support them. The air world is not just for cool air but for warm air also but when I first purchased it I didn't really read up too much on it as far as how the heating goes. I kind of assumed there was a heating element in there and that is not the case. It says to add three to four air activated warmers it doesn't say where to get those. You can you get about 60 to 90 minutes of use and only use the low fan for warm air. So I actually wrote to them and asked them if I could use any air activated warmers and they said they only tested it on theirs, which um, I didn't buy them because I didn't know I needed them when I first purchased it. There was no suggestion to get the air warmers or anything like that. The box doesn't say sold separately. So uh, I'm gonna have to just make do and see if I can get it to work. So I do have some hot hands, not to be confused with these as seen on TV hot hands, but I don't even know if these are going to work, but I'm going to try them anyways. When I wrote to them, they didn't say try this brand or though those can't work. They just said, we only used ours, so you're kind of on your own. So guess what? I'm on my own. I'm going to throw these in there and see if they do anything. They say to shake them first. I'll shake these. I got activated warmers. And three. I'm going to wait 30 minutes and see if I can get some warm air out of this thing. I only use it on low. We'll see. All right, I'm back. It's been about 32 minutes. And they say 30 minutes, so I gave them two minutes extra. Let's see if we get some warm air out of this thing with those activated air warmers in there. <laughs> Only on low. Put this tubing right next to my face here. Oh, I got, I feel warm air. I feel warm air. I mean, not that warm. It's warmish and it's suddenly not as warm it was like it was like 10 seconds of warm air I guess it's kind of I guess it's is it warm on low it's hard to really tell because it's I guess it's kind of warm it's not as warm as I expected I'm gonna put it in front of this uh, thermometer here for a little bit and see if it, how warm it really is again these activated air warmers may not be the right kind 
but I wasn't aware that I had to buy theirs, that that's the only one that they tested with until the very last minute. So um, it just kind of made do. This may not be a good solution. So this will answer the question, if you can use these or not, it won't answer the question how well theirs work, which I may not be able to answer in this video. It doesn't feel hot, it feels slightly warmer than the room temperature. And the room temperature right now is 78 degrees. All right, well, it's showing 89 degrees as far as the tubing goes. And that's certainly warmer than the ambient temperature of the room. So it's, I would say it's blowing some warmer air, but this thermometer takes a while to really adjust. So um, I might let it sit here for a little bit. And again, they say on the back of the box that you'll get about 60 to 90 minutes of warm air uh, when you use three to four activated air packets. I don't think the warming feature is really the touted feature for a reason. Now it's one thing to put ice in there because ice is easy to come by, but if you have to ha have these separate consumable items to put in there to get warm, I don't think a lot of people are going to be real happy with that. Again, I think a heating element would have been better. Not that it would have been feasible on this device, but it would have been better if they could make it feasible. I'll let this run for a little bit and see how warm it really gets. Uh, it's been about a half an hour. The It hasn't gone above 79 degrees. Even though I did get a, a laser reading of 89 in the tubing, so I don't know. I'm not overly impressed by the heating process at all. All right, I'm gonna get some work done on my computer and uh, I'm gonna put the air whirl on. I've got the flexible tube fully extended, which is about 27 inches when you fully extend it. I've got fresh ice in here, brand new batteries. Now, can I actually get this to, to stay in place? I don't know. I'll get my laptop on. I'll just kind of sit it on there. Aim right at my face. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I can feel it. I can, I can definitely feel it. So I'm going to work here for a little bit with this air whirl aimed directly at my face and see how it feels. Right now it feels pretty good. It's about a foot away from my face. I wouldn't say it's a strong breeze, but it's a nice cool breeze. There we go. Does this look ridiculous? I'm, I'm not sure put this tube up my shirt. Now that doesn't look suspicious or anything, does it? Uh, it's pretty cool, I will say that. I don't think I would want someone to walk in on me sitting there like this. It's best when you have it, you know, a couple of inches away from your face. That's when you get the maximum coolness of it. But I don't know how feasible it is to have it this, I feel like I'm talking in front of a microphone. So, uh, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Match Game 1977. I don't know, it seems like I have to put it right on my face to really get the full cooling effect, which is pretty good when it's this close. Now when I'm outside and it's 110 degrees, there's only so much you can do, but inside where it's a little bit warm and stuffy, it actually works pretty well. Um, being over my laptop a foot away, it, it seems like that one foot significantly reduces how much cool air I got. So you almost have to have it, you know, what is this, four inches instead of 12 inches away. Let's see if I can do that. Can I get it four inches from my face? That's pretty close. There, that's perfect, just like that. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's right in front of my face and it feels great. Just don't move and it'll be perfect. All right, well, I think I've got enough to wrap this up. Let's go outside and finish this thing up. By the way, you don't have to fully extend the tube and you can actually compress it down to about seven inches or so. Let's take a look at some of the pros and cons with the Air Whirl. I would say the number one pro is that it's well made. The thing is built like a tank. I can see that it's well thought out. My second pro would be the customer service. I had to contact them a couple times with questions. I always received an answer. They were always responsive. Also, it was fast shipping. I ordered this, I think, on June 3rd. I received it on June 7th, direct from their website. So that's pretty quick. I'm not sure if Amazon would have been faster or not, but I think that I'm pretty happy with just the direct website shipping. And finally, it does blow cool air. It, the air was about 62 to 65 degrees coming out of there, which was certainly cooler than the ambient temperature in my house. So uh, as far as cooling air goes, it does work. Now, as far as the cons go, I got a few of those. Number one is expensive, 159 bucks. That's gonna be prohibitive to a lot of people that can't afford something like that. My second con is that it uses batteries. I kind of wish this would, this were uh, rechargeable that would make more sense you don't have to keep buying consumables and in, in the same vein my third con, con would be the heat also re requires consumables that you have to buy separately and uh, the ones that I used to which I didn't know if they were gonna work or not they didn't really work theirs probably work better but you have to buy them separately and I don't think a lot of people want to have to keep spending money on something like this 
when they've already spent 159 on it. My final con is that the stream of air seems kind of narrow with the jet nozzle, with the, the hose or without. It just seemed like I was only getting little pieces of my face at a time cooled off. One more thing I wanted to point out, which isn't really a pro or a con, is that the ice will not last as long as the batteries do. So even though the batteries might last, oh, five hours before they start running out of steam, the ice is only gonna last 45 minutes to an hour. So you're gonna have to keep replacing the ice if you wanna use this in more than short term. In the end, I think that how you use the air world will dictate how much you like it. If you want a nice, light, cool breeze at your desk, you'll probably like it. If you wanna offset the sweltering desert heat, you might not. Just do me a favor, and if you want the air world, buy it from them. If you don't want it, don't buy one of the cheap counterfeits. Don't support counterfeiters out there that steal ideas from inventors and try to profit on them by putting out an inferior product. Have you guys used the air world or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.